We're back with another episode. We're back with another episode of Barrett's Sons. Yes, we are here this week. We are back once again. And I hope you guys had an awesome, awesome week. And how about you guys Valentine's Day? My Valentine's Day was, you know, I feel like I'm talking about Valentine's Day now late, but um, my Valentine's Day was great. I definitely got my, gro my crock pot and I got my little green machine. So I'm happy about that. I am obsessed with both items. But okay, let me stop calling it a crock pot because it's not really a crock pot. It's like one of those five in one thingy thingamajiggies. But the brand crock pot made it. Did you guys know that crock pot, like crock pot is like a brand? Anyway. So, they made it, and I just want to say, like, the air fryer is very overrated, okay? The 5-in-1, that way does the brown and the salmon. I'm here for slow cooking. The slow cooking is good. But the air fryer is very overrated. I mean, it fries the food, but it tastes very dry, which makes sense because it's of, you know, it's an air that's frying it. But y'all need to be specific about that because that shit do not taste like fried goods when you dip it in the oil. Okay, that when you put when you fry it with the oil, it's just giving you juicy. It's giving you juicy. It's giving you taste. It's giving you flavor. And I like juicy. I like flavor. But respectfully, you know, it is ninety nine point nine percent less fat. I'm gonna say ninety nine point five percent less fat because. That, to me, it looks so fucking dry that you have to at least paint some olive oil on top of it so that it has a glisten to it. Like, my food has to look glisten. It has to have a little shine to it. So, I don't know. But, it, it, and it tastes, it tastes, it, it tastes a little dry. Like, y'all need to, I should have motherfucking known because anything that is healthy is never always the best. Like, let's be honest. Like, healthy is good for your body, but if you had to choose healthy over some unhealthy shit, and it, let's say it wouldn't fuck with your, 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 your body shape, your weight, your health, you might choose unhealthy. You feel me? Like, unhealthy food, okay, but you know, it, uh, in some ways, unhealthy food could be subjective. I said what I said. But, um, yeah. It's the, the, the air fryer is very overrated. But the air fryer is good for refrying food that, like, you had. Like, if you bought some, like, chicken fingers from, you know, some store. You didn't eat it all. And you put it in the air fryer. Yes, it tastes good. Because, um, that shit still got oil in it. It got mad oil in it. And actually, the air fryer shows you how much oil that shit got in it. So... The air fryer aspect of those 5-in-1 pots are very overrated. Will I air fry some shit again? Definitely. Because, I mean, you know, I only can do but so much. But, um, I'm not going to come up here and gas y'all. Like, that shit is deadass mad overrated. Everything else about the deer pot? Bitch. The pressure cooker. The slow cooker. The saute. The brown and sear. I have not used the stove in, I don't know, in like a week. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a good Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day was cool. Yeah, if you could watch last week's episode, how I feel about Valentine's Day, and y'all gonna have to find out next year. I just, I just, I like, I don't know. I just, I just don't get like now that I'm really in a relationship. It's funny how silly Valentine's Day is to me. It's really weird, and I'm and most people who say that because they nigga don't do shit for them on Valentine's Day. But I'm somebody who you know my man tries his best. He doesn't put roses and shit on the floor, but he gets me things, and I still so I I just it it, it, it makes sense. But um yeah, I'm here. I'm filming. I'm so happy. It's sunny outside. Because you guys may or may not know, it's been snowing like crazy in New York City. I just feel like, I don't know what the hell is going on. Like, it's the snow for me. It's just too much. Like, I get we live in New York. Well, I live in New York. So, we're in the northern side. But it just has not snowed this much in New York in a while. Like, I just feel like winter is showing its ass right now. Okay, it's it's not even winter, it's the atmosphere. The atmosphere is showing its ass. Okay, the atmosphere is done with us. It is done, it's complete. Y'all motherfuckers be saying, I'm throwing love, kindness, motherfucking, uh, 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 I'm trying to be the best person, I'm throwing goodness in the atmosphere. Meanwhile, y'all throwing toxicity, toxicity, 
motherfucking, you're nasty, you're rude, you ain't shit, and now the atmosphere is, is, is throwing that shit back. You know what I say? I'm gonna throw love in the atmosphere, so love comes back my way. Bitch, y'all been throwing all your bullshit in the atmosphere, and now it's coming back our way. Damn it. Because the, the snow, it's just showing its ass. Oh my god. Winter came, motherfucking February came and keeps that said, y'all niggas think I'm pussy? Y'all think I'm pussy? Y'all think I don't snow? Like, this shit is ridiculous. It is snowing. It was not, it's, it's okay if it snowed. It is a winter storm, or it was a winter storm in Texas. Do y'all know Texas? Texas. Meg the Stallion, Texas, bitch. Beyonce, Texas. Shit. Slim Thug, Texas. They see me rolling. They hating. Texas. Not Texas. Not Slim Thug. Not Meg the Stallion. Not Beyonce. Not Texas. Okay? Like, Texas is so... It's such a southern state. In the south, it really... When it snows, it'll be like one foot of snow. Like, not even a foot, maybe. It'll be like a milliliter of snow. Like... Houston is such a southern state that it's baffling that that happened to them. Like, the atmosphere is fucking done with us. Between the weather, between fucking COVID, I think it's an attack on the human society at this point. I think the atmosphere got beef with y'all bitches. Because y'all always saying y'all gonna throw some good in it. And you're throwing a leap of bullshit in it. Okay? Like, I'm just confused. A whole winter storm. Because at first I'm like, okay, it's going to be a winter storm, storm and, you know, allegedly in Texas. But people losing power, no water, no heat. Oh, my fucking God. Like, that's crazy. You know, praise to everybody in Texas. And people, you know, some people being assholes, they think it's funny. Like, oh, that's happening because they wasn't wearing masks. They out living. Or people are saying, like... You know, why do you need heat? Why do you need water? Why do you need electricity? You want to be... No, like, it's about the principle of shit. Like, that shit is fucking insane. Like, they really were out that shit. And they're not a cus customary to even just dealing with cold weather. Like, they, if you live in Texas for all your life and you kind of accustomed to maybe a low 50, and now you dealing with a winter storm? That's nuts. And, you know, prayers out to those people. And it's like all of them are impacted. Like, they don't even have all-season tires on their car. Like, in New York, you naturally get all-season tires. You know, some of their houses are not built with, you know, PEX piping and all that stuff. They build their stuff with brass piping. So, their, their pipes are bursting. And they don't... A lot of stuff that's customary in northern states, they don't do in southern... They don't have in southern states because they don't deal with bullshit like that. So, it's just... It's crazy. Like, that shit is not funny at all. Praise to anybody that Texas. Like, I had to sit down and think, like, do I know anybody that lives in Texas? I'm going to just make sure I send a prayer. Because, you know, mad people was moving to Texas and Florida. And Texas, their, their mortgage rates and rent rates are dirt cheap. So, you know, a lot of people been moving. I'm like, let me make sure I don't know nobody that live over there. Because I don't want no smoke with no family, bitch. Because I got people who live in the South. But, like, South Carolina. But you know how some people be trickling. They, they start in South Carolina. Next thing you know, they end up in North Carolina. They end up in Mississippi. Then they end up in Texas. You know, people be trickling down. Southern people, they'll do a move, honey. They will move. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know nobody out there. Uh, to my knowledge. I know one person out there, you know. Mom, that's my mother's friend. Maybe I should still say something. It's really, it'll be really nice. I might. You know what? I'm going to do that. Um, But, yeah. It's been crazy. And the government don't give a fuck. So it was just like, wow. The, the, Ted, Ted Cruz, didn't he run for president one time? His ass then went to Mexico. I said, yeah. Motherfuckers is showing you who they are. Like, showing they ass. People is showing they ass. Like, y'all seeing these politicians is showing they ass all 2020. And they bringing that shit right 2021. Motherfuckers is showing they ass. That man told them people... Y'all need to fend for yourselves like it's the 19 fucking 20s, bitch. They, were, they want the motherfucking people, the Texan people.
people to freaking start getting fucking stones and rocks and building fire like we fucking uh, uh, nomads. What's the people with the fucking, the people <laughs> that used to break the stones and shit back in the day? I forgot their freaking names. They want these people out living Indians. They want them to go outside. Ain't even no leaves on the damn tree. Ain't even no fruit growing. That's what they want them to do. Go pick fruit. Go make a fucking cabin fire. Oh my God. And I can't. I cannot. And I will not. But yeah. The atmosphere is showing its ass. The atmosphere is showing its ass. I'm telling y'all, the atmosphere is done with us. Like, I'm convinced. I'm fucking convinced the atmosphere is fucking done. Like, it's something in the air. It is something in the air. Oh, my gosh. And COVID. I ain't gonna front. I'm getting tired of fucking COVID. Like, I'm at the point. I know a lot of y'all like, bitch, we been tired. But, like, now I'm at the point where I'm just like, and this might be problematic. It's, it, 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 y'all might hate me. I'm no politician. I am no meteorologist. I am no environmentalist. I'm just speaking from my heart. I just want them to open this shit back up. I swear to fucking God. Like, I am fucking done. Like, I'm done. Like, I'm done. Like, I'm so fucking done. Like, I'm really done with COVID. Like, this shit is, like, at this point, I feel like everybody had to at least done had that shit. Like, that's... That's how, like, it's, it's, when does it end? Like, I'm at the point where, like, I, if I was, that's when maybe I can't be a politician right now. If I was a politician, if I was the president, I swear to God, I'd be like, all states is open. I said what the fuck I said. Like, I would be on that type of time. Like, that's the type of time I would be on. I swear to everything I love, I'd be like, y'all, all this shit open. Open that shit back the fuck up. I'm dead ass. Big facts. All this shit open. I'm good fuck. School open. The restaurants open. Fucking amusement parks open. Everybody open. Straight up. Straight to the top of February. We open. We lit. Gang, gang, gang. And that's how I would say it. Like, I'm on that type of time. Like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm over it. I'm complete. I am finished. I am done. I am lost for words. I can't do it no more. Especially like New York City, like, girl. And I know some states, they already been living like they outside, but it's like, this shit is getting borderline ridiculous. Like, really. Like, it's getting ridiculous. Like, I can't do it no more. Like, people is losing jobs. People's businesses is going under. Like, it's, and the rich is benefiting from all of this per usual. And it's just like, I'm really at the point. I swear, and I never thought that they would come, but I'm just like, y'all need to open this shit back the fuck up. Like, today's the day. You're gonna open this shit back up. We're open. We're here. We're alive. Like, I'm on that type of time, so hopefully we're gonna figure it out. They need to figure this shit out before summertime. Allegedly, we should be open by the end of August. I have faith. Because I, if I'm getting tired, even I'm just a little old Britney, I'm quite sure. The damn governor, what is he? Governor, Senate, one of them from Texas, went to Cancun when the shit got He said, we could have with COVID. And now, what's the storm? So, I'm trying to film, Brit says, and my man is, and, and this is why I don't like filming when he's out of work. What do you want? Okay, <laughs> now I got something to get off my chest, okay? This is a beautiful Saturday, sun is out, and this young lady is out here getting on my ass for not getting food. You get me? And the, the funny thing about it is, I'm out here busting my ass. You have Uber Eats, Postmates, Caviar, all the food. But the slave has to go get the money, and the slave has to bring back the food. Like, this is 24th, this is 24th century slavery, my guys. <laughs> let me get out. Uh, you, sh I just feel like. Uh, 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 let me talk. Don't don't move the camp. Don't touch I'm my me camera. Being as an please. African, I'm about to start having uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, getting mad because you come home, you see, have to get the food again. Then why do I have, why do I do I, need, do I need to provide them when I have to get the food, pay the rent, and do all the extra shit? So to all the guys out there. Uh, uh, providing for your family, I salute you. To all the females out there waking up at 10 o'clock, <laughs> sleeping at 2 a.m., congratulations to you. <laughs> yo! Yo! Get out! Get out! Oh, man.
<laughs> that was the air fried strip. I didn't. I, I, I just told him on the podcast the strip was hella overrated. I mean, the air fryer is very overrated. Like that shit tastes dry as shit. Like exactly. that shit tastes air I to fried. Peel, I had to peel the shrimp off just to eat it yesterday. Oh, he really didn't like it. You don't really like um. Deep fried food in general. Uh, Every even when I make it in oil, he doesn't eat it. Like see, I had what? that's weird. Two hundred and thirty-one. All packages. right. Yeah, like I just want to film what it says. People be hype. Men be hype when they pay all the bills, bitch. He don't pay all the bills. Like I pay my own bills. I have to pay my credit card bills. I have to pay my um car note, my car insurance, and what else? I pay something else. I gotta pay my student loans, bitch. I feel like I pay a lot of stuff. I think, you know what it is? These bills that I'm saying, they're really high. I pay for the Wi-Fi, respectfully. And we have fake cable. I call it fake cable because, um, it's like a thing where you get only 10 channels. <laughs> you know what? And you don't need a cable box or whatever for it. It's like something with through your Wi-Fi, they stream 10 channels. and. I'm pissed because you can't even change it. Like, you can't change the channels. I thought you could change the channels every month. You can't. So, whatever. I wanted to get BET. And I wanted to get, um, it was another one. We. But, he just threw me the fuck off. And he wasn't talking about a leap or nothing. Yes, I'm upset because I wanted lunch. And he was outside. So, I want him to come pick up some, some lunch while he was outside and when he came home on his break, he comes home on his break to bring lunch. And he's like, oh, I've been working. <laughs> like, let me tell y'all something. Um, having the man work and you stay in the house, you see up, oh, she wake up at 10 a.m. and she go to sleep at 2 a.m. First of all, don't disrespect me. But having a man be the head of the household is not, a lot of shit is overrated. Period. Like, cuz, bitch, they act like they're doing it from the heart, but then every chance he get, he gonna bring up, I pay the bills. I pay the bills. If it wasn't for me, I pay the rent. I can get the, I can do good do. Check out that guy, that guy. Cut do Every five minutes. First of all, I cook dinner. Oh, I am also accountable for groceries. I have to buy the groceries, like, pay for them. Like, I took up on that responsibility. So I buy groceries and I have to cook them. And I cook a lot. And I keep this house clean. This house has to be clean. I'm just done. He really just killed my whole vibe just now. <sighs> Reconvening. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> I hate when he come home when I'm potted, son. Or when he home when I'm potted. But anyway. Today's topic, I was like, let me do a topic, a topic, a topic of the times. Let me do a topic of the times because, um, I don't know, I just feel like the topics, they've been very, every topic I do is of the times because any I feel like most topics I do, anyone can relate to it, you know what I'm saying? But, um, I wanted to do clout chasing because, um... I just be feeling like shit be mad cloudy lately. A lot of people be just doing cloudy ass shit. Like, period. So, um, sorry guys. So, basically, I was like, let me do a topic on cloud chasing, whatever the case may be. You know, before most topics, we usually expand our mind. I actually tried to look for articles about cloud chasing. You know what's funny? All the topics are is what is cloud chasing? Like, what is cloud chasing? Or whatever the case may be. So, I was like, alright. People, like, I feel like clout chasing is such a, a term that is so straight to the point. There's no need to make articles on it. But I feel like people could at least, maybe I didn't Google it properly. Could have at least made an article about how, like, how social media, um entertains the idea of clout chasing or at least something of that nature but you know maybe I don't know so I just wanted to talk about clout chasing because I be feeling like all right the first incident and I don't think she was clout chasing I just want to put that out there I think that that this woman actually did this and who I'm talking about is 
I don't want to call her Gorilla Glue Girl, but some of y'all know her as Gorilla Glue Girl. Her real name is Tessica Brown. And she is, you know, she, it, I appear to see that she is very hurt by the backlash that she's getting on, you know, social media. I feel that it's getting to her. She doesn't like to be called Gorilla Glue Girl. Um, I feel that she's um, very impacted by the situation. And, um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. So I just felt like what's going on, though, is that a lot of people are claiming she did it for clout. She did it for attention. She did it for for likes. She did it for, uh, you know, clout chasing is such a thing. I really do believe that Tessica accidentally put... I, I just have to take a pause because we'll, we'll get into it. I think I really do believe that she accidentally put the Gorilla Glue spray in her hair. Like, I really don't think that she did that for attention. She had that shit in her hair for a month. I don't think she was lying. Because when you see the pictures of her without a filter on it, that shit looks fucking nuts. Like, oh my god. Like, why the fuck did she do that? Like, but anyway. But now what's going on is that people think she's clout chasing, number one. She was doing it for clout. That she was lying. Some people think she's lying. She's lying that she had Gorilla Glue in her hair. Also, her GoFundMe account got um, suspended. And she doesn't have access to the $20,000. And let me talk about that real quick. I was one of the people who was like low-key hating. Like, fuck, she got $20,000 for doing some dumb shit. Like, I really was tight. Like, dead ass. Like, just for putting Gorilla Glue in her hair. Y'all gave this lady $20,000? You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna not what she got. So I'm kind of annoyed because I really hate people like that. That people flag to her account. Like, yeah, I might be like, wow. M motherfuckers will give anybody money. Yeah, I'm gonna be tight. But I'm not gonna go flag shorty account. Like, that to me is some hater shit. I don't give a fuck. Like, she asked for only 1500 She got access more. And, and that's, that's on people. If they want to give her money, they could give her money. Like, why would y'all flag her account? That's some hater shit. Like, that's really some hater shit. Like, dead ass. Like... Any of y'all motherfuckers who did that, y'all need to really talk with God. Like that's like that that should not be of your concern. Somebody's pocket, somebody's money, like okay, and she got 20 grand because she put glue on her hair and you're mad. And then her and then she got the glue out for free. You're mad. Like, I don't like that. I don't like stuff like that. But anyway, a lot of people think she did it for clout. And I really don't think she did it for clout, but I think that a lot of people think she did it for clout because Cloud chasing is such a big thing, especially with social media. Like, you don't know what's real. You don't know what's fake. Even like YouTube, people do pranks. You don't know what pranks is real. You don't know what pranks is fake. We see all these cute things on social media with couples and this and that. And we like, are you doing this shit for clout or are you dead ass? Like, we don't know. Like, the shit we don't know. Like, I'm com like, who is real and who is not real at this point? Like... It's like, we don't know what the fuck be going on no more. We don't know what's real. Even, like, when the shit happened at Capitol Hill. A lot of, you know, curious minds is like, is this shit real? Like, obviously, I don't, well, you, 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 you could do shit for clout. You could chase Capitol Hill for clout. But people's like, is this plans? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, you don't fucking know. And, you know, I feel like back in the day... A lot of shit that, that's considered clout chasing now is just things people used to do under the radar. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, now it's this big skeptical thing or whatever the case may be. And, um, I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. It's annoying. And I really do miss people just being themselves. Like, I feel like, do we entertain cloud chasing? Like, I feel like we get mad about cloud chasing, but we kind of entertain that shit. Like, we kind of make it, we make it popular. We allow it to happen because we entertain it. Like, y'all don't, I like, I, I mean, I say y'all, like, I'm gonna say we, because I know people like, first of all, you don't know me. We don't, um, kind of embrace realness we don't embrace um 
authenticity. I feel like we we really don't. We don't. We embrace a lot of the the fake shit. We we embrace the clout chasey shit. You get what I'm saying? Like another instance, I, I could bring up. I could relate this topic to so many things. I felt like would be Simone. I could relate this to so many topics. The instant would be Simone where she um she said the thing about basically you have to if you're a woman seeking a man or whatever man seeking a woman whatever let's say if you're a woman you want a man and you want your man to have a six pack bitch you need to go to the gym if you if you want a man that's respectful bitch are you rude at work like uh, you have to be what you want correct fair analysis these these things are things people have been saying for years, you know? These are these are known ideologies. Be Simone put her little twist on it with her Be Simone tone and her little theatrics that she does. And, her, and she has a bigger platform, so it's reaching more people. Two people came out and said that Be Simone is plagiarizing their words now no because I, I could say she's plagiarizing me like she could be plagiarizing and like these are common ideologies like she all she did was just put her own twist on it so to me those two girls that did that they're being clout chasers that's clout chasing you want clout you wanted to make the shade room you you want to be someone to respond do you and then what was getting me tight is that people Felt like B. Simone, some people felt like B. Simone was plagiarizing. She probably copied what they said. No, the fuck she did. Y'all know that girl ain't copied what them fucking people said. Everybody say that shit. Like, my grandmother probably say that shit. Like, I don't know. Like, stop. Like, y'all be doing, like, people be doing too much for clout. Like, and the other thing I don't like about clout chasing, but I, let me, I'm going to go back to what I was talking about with B. Simone, is that, too, I feel like people aren't working hard enough. Y'all rather go chase clout. Like y'all clout chasing allows people to get big off of nonsense. Instead of working hard at what you do, you rather do some dumb shit. Cause I feel like most clout chasing shit is dumb shit, fake shit, fraudulent shit. Y'all rather do that than just build and grow off of you. And I understand that times are hard. Times have always been hard, you know. Um, and I get that. So you rather do some dumb shit just to get your followers up, your likes up. And the scary part too is motherfuckers who just do it for likes. You ain't even doing it to make money. You just doing it for attention. That's scary. That's you a scary motherfucker if all you care about is attention. It's one thing to want attention and one thing to want attention in return you can make some money on your business or something like that you get what i'm saying like you 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 get you catch my drift like some people literally don't give a fuck they just want the views they just want the likes they just want to go viral they don't give a fuck about money those are the clout chases you got to be careful of or whatever the case may be but um it, th that's when you know the clout chasing gets scary for me is like with the be some own situation because it's like people will say anything and we don't know how to you know rule out what's right what's wrong what's true what's not like for me I don't think that be Simone ever seen those girls and that's the other shit too is like I do believe motherfuckers be watching cause I heard I was I listened to a podcast I ain't gonna say the podcast or whatever I listen to a lot of. I be listening to mad random podcasts now these days. Like I don't like if something pop up on YouTube, cause you know how they do the recommendations or they play a video after. I watch it, cause you know I have a lot of time on my hands, so I just like to listen. And I recommend you guys, you know, do that one day too. Is like listen to podcasts and just all different spectrums because one you can learn a lot from other podcasters in terms of like business, like ones that are bigger. And stuff like that without, like, because you know how you can listen to a podcast that's about podcasting? Like, no. Some of these podcasters be giving you gems without it being a podcast about podcasting, if that makes sense. And I and I really enjoy that. And it really, 
it's teaching me like I gotta really be serious if I'm going to do Brit says like cause like you 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 don't know we don't know like if you whether you big or you fucking small you don't know you don't know what may happen in a year what may happen in five years and you need to be prepared let's just put it that way but anyway I was um. Oh my god, I hate when I get off topic because I missed what I wanted to say. Um, I do feel like though, I'm going to say that. Oh, because I heard on a podcast. Back to what I was saying. I heard on one of the podcasts about how like a lot of these celebrities have fences. We all probably know this. Fences is basically a... F S stands for fake and then Insta, fake Instagram, so Finsta. So a lot of these celebrities have Finstas and, you know, they use the Finsta to put up their own pictures. Some of them got caught with them. I think it's stupid to put up your own pictures on um, a Finsta. I think you should get a Finsta and then just lurk the internet and leave comments and be an asshole. If, if I was a celebrity, I'd probably do some shit like that. So a lot of them have Finstas and I think with these Finsta accounts, they look at stuff, they see stuff. And that's why I do believe that motherfuckers be stealing ideas. I do believe some of these celebrities be stealing ideas and they be fucking, I, I, I mean, like taking people ideas, taking people jokes, taking people, taking people aesthetic, taking people looks. I believe that shit. I think they be creating fake ass Instagrams and fucking fake ass Twitters, whatever the fuck else they be creating that's fucking fake as fuck. And they do be lurking the internet in a way that we lurk the internet. Like, your regular day girl. Like, they just be on Instagram and then they be liking shit. They be leaving comments. They be on the forums. They be on the blogs. They be, they, they check for what's new. I really, I really, really do believe that. I, I, I have a, a firm belief because, um... You know, like I said about coincidences, I don't think that everything is a coincidence. I do think you could be really small and people are paying attention. I do believe that. I do believe that people are always paying attention to to the streets. And, and if you're if you're a brand, if you're big, if you're a celebrity, if you're anything, you should always be listening to the streets. I, I really believe that. You should always know what's going on because this is like, reminds me of Fashion Forecast. So whatever's going on right now, whatever's hot right now is what's going to be hot in a few months or maybe even a year or so. I think you should always be paying attention to what people are saying in a in a business aspect. Not in a literal aspect because I feel like sometimes too, like celebrities, they read their comment section and y'all take everything that people say so personally. Like Cardi B should respond to anything that anybody says. Who gives a fuck if they think your nose is big? Like, uh, it, it might be a little bit. And it, do you like it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, in that aspect, I feel like, you know, the obviously don't pay attention to all the negative, but pay attention to a little bit of it. Like, I do enjoy when some celebrities are even, like, positive. Be like, I'm reading the comments because the comments be dead ass true. Some people be keeping the buck. If you see a comment more than 500 times, then there must be some truth to it. Now, as in terms of looks, because like I said, I believe looks, looks are subjective. I think that everybody is beautiful. Don't pay attention to that. Pay attention to stuff like, let's say I'm a potter. I don't like the audio. The audio sounds shitty. Um, it's hard. Because I, I see stuff where people be like, oh, this person is dumb as fuck. They always say some dumb shit. And you'll see like 500 comments of them calling a specific person dumb. And that's not nice, you know. But that's a good question. When do you, the pie is going all over the place. When, when do you own in on advice? As a big celeb, I can't even relate. But when do you take in advice? Like, cause some some stuff may be mean, but it dead ass be true. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm even learning that. Like, I'll just like it's a new thing I'm doing, and that's the the beauty of you know just just be able to be home and think. It, it, it could fuck with you, but it could be good. Like, I'll see the the negativity of someone, right? Like, lately. Like, I'll see the dumb shit that somebody is doing. Or something like that. Or whatever. Or the constant repeat of bullshit that people do. And instead of judging them, I look at myself now. And I'll be like, do I do shit like that? And that's not... Like, you should know yourself. But it's because we're all so flawed. I'm like... And I understand we're all different. We all have different upbringings. But I'm like... If this person has the capability to constantly do this or that and not be knowledgeable of it's wrong or maybe they are knowledgeable that it's wrong what may or may not be what 
what am what may I or may not be doing that similar? And I think that's okay. Like, and I think that's I think that's growth for me. It is, it's annoying, but I enjoy it. You know, instead of bringing somebody down, judging somebody, sometimes I I think because we get older. Like, you know, I, I'm 29, right? I'm getting a little bit older. So now I I instead of like judging people, because I since I'm getting older, I'm around people that's either my age or sometimes older than me, and I'll be thinking about shit like they still doing that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. Motherfuckers still act like that. Like, this is like, these things are repetitive. So it's like, what am I doing that's repetitive? And, you know, not also, what am I doing that's repetitive behavior? I'm also, I also try to pick up on how can I stop doing these things? Where am I learning these things from? Who did I get these from? A lot of shit be from my mother. I be peeping motherfucking game. I think she a motherfucker. She got a fucking finsta. So she probably be listening to the podcast. That I have on theory that day. She be listening. But I think a lot of stuff I get from my mother. <laughs> and I don't like it. Um, Like certain habits. And it's, it's really annoying. Um, And so I like to pick up on those things. And then when we on the phone, I like to call her out on it. <laughs> Yo, I swear to God. I can't wait. To, like... That's some of the things where I be like, you know, I don't want in the mood to have a kid. Because if my kid act anything like me when they get older, I don't want to really fight sis or, or fight him. I don't fight boy or girl, bitch. Like, because they always, all kids is like that. They always got some smart shit to say. And I just be thinking, damn, I hope my kid's not like me. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I do peep game to the bullshit that people do. And it's just like, I wonder, you know, like do you know i have those habits because a lot of people think we don't have similar habits and you do and you're not even privy to it it may not be ex as, as extreme as them but it might be on a lower level and you're not even privy to it and i noticed that a lot of people have repetitive after behaviors not a lot of people i would say maybe all of us have repetitive behaviors and they can be broken or whatever um so yeah whatever i do believe like i said some people dead ass be paying attention to the streets. I do believe a lot of motherfuckers got fences, fake ass Instagram accounts, and they lurk the internet and they get to see recommendations on YouTube like us. Like, and YouTube is really getting real better with the algorithm. Like, like it, to, in my opinion, because, and that's how I was like, okay, maybe people are watching, you know, Brit says and stuff like that. Because the other day, like two or three times, I watched YouTube a lot though, so. Two or three times, I actually saw a, a YouTuber who had 12 views. And it was good as fuck. One of them was really, really good. And also, um, you know, maybe a thousand views. Because that's considered a little bit of views in the YouTube world. A thousand. If I get a thousand views, I'd be going crazy. But, um, but in hindsight, that's considered a small amount of viewership. And I would consider maybe 500,000 and up a lot of views on a video. Like, if you get 500,000 up, that's like, yes, girl. Even 26,000. I, I like, I, if 20,000 is like, okay, you're getting there to me. But 500,000 is like, you're that girl. If you get 500,000 up on views, it's like, you, you, you better keep pushing them videos out, bitch. Because the money will start flowing. But, um, they've been recommending, like, little word um youtubers to me and some of them are really good so you know hey it is what it is but as like i was saying because i be getting off topic i don't know how y'all listen i do think that, that a lot of these celebrities and instagrammers keep their ear to the streets and it, it is a known fact a lot of them have fenced this and we know a lot of them don't even run their real instagram account so you think that they because if they don't run their real instagram account you think they don't want to be on instagram millions of users on Instagram. Instagram is where you get your information. Instagram is where you get everything. Like, you think they're not looking at the shade room and shit? Like, stop. You think sometimes when somebody says some, something smart, somebody's not gonna comment? Like, come on now. Come on, wake up. So I do believe that a lot of times some of these um, Instagrammers do be thieving. And they and, and they don't be, um, a lot of shit don't be coincidental. Um... And yeah, I know I said the other day I don't really believe in coincidences. Like I and, and I even though I hate motherfuckers like this, it's you gotta you just gotta know the vibes. Like, cause it do be some people who be dead ass like that bitch copying me. Ah 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 ah. She copying me, like she seen me, like she saw my hair like this and that. Like, girl. 
everybody got their hairstyle. Like, you gotta know the vibes. Like, I won't say who, like, sometimes I think shit be weird. Like, I'll talk about a topic, and I understand that the things I talk about is everyday topics. But then some, the, the that's a couple of days later, somebody will bring up the same topic. And I think it's weird. And I'm gonna tell y'all a funny, a funny, I'm gonna tell y'all two stories. One story, like, maybe a year ago, and I don't know if the viewer is watching, thank you, <laughs> whatever, love you, don't get mad, I don't have a problem with you watching, or whatever, but I remember on Instagram, it was like an account, don't have no picture, no nothing, and it wrote me one time, and I kind of ignored it because you don't have no picture, and then the second time, and I was thinking it could be anybody, it could be a family member, but then when I started learning about fences and how much celebrities actually have these shits and the dumb shit they be doing with the close friends, I was like, yo. And somebody wrote me and it was like, look, don't give up. Don't give up. People is watching you. Trust me. And I was like, bitch. I didn't take it personal that year. I didn't think too much into it. And I was like, oh, and it was like, you really good. Keep paying attention. That, th when that was written to me, I think this was in 2019, I didn't pay it no mind. Like, I paid it mine. But I didn't really think about it on a grander scheme until maybe 2020, last year. I thought about it more on a bigger, a bigger idea. Like, I thought when the person said it, it was like, uh, like I kind of like, I didn't brush it off. I was like, oh, thank you for watching, whatever, or listening. But I didn't think of what the person was actually probably trying to tell me. It was like, they're watching. Like, they're watching. People are paying attention. That was number one. Um, number two, the second thing that happened, I remember when I had Curse King's Fashion. Anybody know me from Curse King's Fashion? And I made this shirt, and it said Curse King's Fashion. It was very simple, but it was it was very aesthetic for that year. And it was doing really good. It's like one of the things I really like, love. And I'm really proud of that I did, even though it didn't last long. But anyway, I made this Curse King's Fashion shirt, and then I was trying to get like people to wear it. So I had wrote this girl... To wear the shirt or whatever the case may be. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna say her YouTube name. <laughs> I should. My friend Keisha know because she was riding for me. And like literally two weeks later, and mind you, I'm not a big, I wasn't big at the time. This is when I first made the shirt. I wanted to pull it out as a rollout. I called it a rollout when I do that thing. Like the shirt wasn't out yet, or was it out yet? I don't really remember too vaguely if it was out yet or not, but I do remember sending her an email, asking her if she wants to wear the shirt or whatever the case may be, and then she told me her prices and it was out of my budget. I was a broke ass bitch, or whatever the case may be. Do y'all know? Two weeks later, this bitch came out with a shirt that looked just like mine, just like mine. I forgot what the fuck it said, and I showed my friend Keisha. She was pissed. I was in shock. Because, you know, she was big at the time. This is when natural hair was that girl. Like, natural hair is still that girl. But I'm talking about natural hair was, like, becoming at its trend. At natural YouTubers was making money. You could watch any. Now there's so much damn natural hair YouTube videos on the market that the, 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 the market got so saturated. So I was kind of shocked that she did that. And I was like, yo, do you feel like she copying off of me? And I felt like it was my intellectual property. And this is why, you know, I'm really, like, big on, you know, I have to really trademark things and be careful with what I do because somebody, and it could be anybody that snatched something from right up under your ass. Like, I was really small. Like, I don't think Curls King's Fashion even had, like, I think I stopped at 6,000. I had 6,000 followers on Instagram. This back in the day, 6,000 was a lot. I think I probably had maybe a 1,000. Um, followers on Instagram, bitch, maybe 600 subscribers on YouTube at that. Um, I was so small, and she did something like that, and it was weird. And it was like, Where do I go next? And I approached her about it, and she definitely stopped selling the shirts, she didn't even go forward with selling the shirts. I think she did say some smart shit. I don't, I don't have the, I don't, I, I wouldn't be able to find. The email, but I definitely approached her about it. I don't know if I left a comment. I don't remember if I left an email, but I approached her about it. Then my friend said something to her about it, and she didn't sell the shirts. But it's just like, so I, when that happened, I was like, motherfuckers is shady. Like, motherfuckers is shady. So it was the incident where somebody random wrote me under this weird-ass account. It was like, they watching. Keep doing what you're doing. 
two when that girl stole my design because I the reason why it threw me off is because I was so small and she was at the time so much bigger than me like why would you do that like it was just weird like I didn't think she would even want to do something like that like I didn't think I didn't you know the uh, another I could tell y'all a small amount of incidents the other um thing too this is when Tumblr Tumblr yeah. Tumblr was hot. I I still like Tumblr. I go only occasionally to ease my mood. Somebody re tum what is it called when you read it's not retweet but like re something my um picture from Chris King's fashion and the person was really big to me, you know, and so it made me feel like people paying attention, like people do pay attention. And you and, and what I'm talking about with the YouTube is that people pay attention and they might steal your idea because they're big. And then when when it comes time when you call them out on shit because you little, people might say, "Bitch, ain't nobody paying attention to you." Like I don't even know you. You only got one thousand followers and da da da. But these things can happen. So I do believe these things are possible. Um. Also, a lot of coincidental shit be happening. Like I said, with like podcast topics or things I'll notice somebody will say something the following week or whatever but I also notice too even I do it on accident like so it, I, I'm not always sure you know like for instance like I'll listen to a lot of podcasts so I'll talk about I pre-record my podcast right so I'll talk about a topic and then the following week I'll listen to one of my favorite podcasts and they talked about the same topic as me. So I would be like, that was just mad weird or whatever. And it was never intentional. You get what I'm saying? It was never, I never copied them. I, we just happened to be talking about the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it just happens. Sometimes, sometimes we, you know, but I think when shit happened a little too often, I do think motherfuckers is watching the streets. So let's just put it that way. So I do think that in some cases... Yes, yeah, celebrities watch the streets. I, I, I'm a firm believer in that. And they like to act fucking stupid and say, oh, I don't even know you. You only got a thousand subscribers. Bitch, you got a fake ass Instagram account and you be watching the streets. But I do think there's a market of motherfuckers that ain't nobody paying you no motherfucking mind. Like, it's, it's, it's a weird, it's a, it's, a, it's a real thin line. It's a real thin line. It's a very thin, a very, very thin line. And that's the problem with knowing when a person is telling the truth, when a person is lying. And that's the problem with clout chasing too. It's like everybody doing it. We don't know who clout chasing and who not. Like it's a very thin line. If I was to say how you may know somebody probably just clout chasing or maybe somebody want attention. Is how marketable is that person? How much work are they putting in? I feel like, because I feel like you could have 1,000 followers, 500, 700, bitch, even 300 followers. And if you really putting in work and you, you posting up maybe five days a week, three days a week, putting up Insta stories, you're on YouTube, you're on Twitter, you're on uh, Snapchat, whatever, any of these social media platforms, even with 300 followers, I think... That there's a chance your content did get stolen. I'm a firm believer in that. I think if you put in work, because the more work you put in, this is this is this is factual. Like the more work you put in, the more you do, people are going to find you. Like it's it's just the algorithm. That's just what it is. The more the more you put out, the more chances you get seen, right? So it's just like with podcasts, they tell you. Make sure your podcast is on all digital streaming platforms. That's what DSP is, by the way, because I'm both. Sometimes I use that term. Digital streaming platforms. Make sure it's on the, all of them. Whatever one come out, like Amazon came out with one, I made sure Brit says it was on it. Right? So now, because you're opening yourself to more markets. YouTube, they say, you know, post at least five videos a day. I try my best, you know what I'm saying, to take out clips from Versailles. They say on Instagram, post at least every day. Now they're saying every day. It's crazy. Like, even with YouTube, I remember, it, you, you can still post three days a week and maybe get pushed up on the algorithm, but 
Now, if you it's, you really got to post every day if you want to go up faster. But anyway, I don't want to get into my tech algorithm talk. I can get in that bag. Maybe you know, I might do an episode on that if, if that's what y'all into. I don't know. <laughs> but um, if you were really out there trying, even though you have a small following, because it's hard to grow, especially with everybody trying to grow. I personally do believe that, yes, motherfuckers is watching your shit might have got stolen. I, I'm a firm believer in that. Now, if you're somebody who just posts ever so often, you're not on you're not on all social media platforms. You barely do shit. You're barely out here. You're barely seen. I, I don't believe that they even saw you. You get what I'm saying? Like I really don't believe that. I don't think that they ran into you. I don't think you was ever seen. You was ever saw. You know, your your, your idea wasn't stolen because you're not you're not really out there like that. Like there's a chance you know that you might get ran into, but there's a very thin line, and it's, um, unfortunately hard to gauge, you know, but I don't think that, I don't think that be Simone stole from them girls. I'm sorry, because that, these things have been, been said so many times, like, people just say it in different ways. We flip and fry it or dye it differently, but this is the key problem. This is where the problem starts with B. Simone. And I'm going to tell y'all. Remember, March 2020 or whatever. I think it was March, April, May, June, whatever the one last year. Remember, she got caught up with the plagiarism shit with her book. She plagiarized that shit. Respectfully. Now, we don't know where she plagiarized it from. It, it wasn't even... It, okay, well, that is plagiarism. It was that she went on Pinterest. For me, I wasn't mad that she stole lists. From Pinterest or whatever the fuck. Y'all yeah, ignorant. Y'all said it was from Pinterest. From Pinterest or whatever. I wasn't really pressed about that. It was just the lack of creativity for me. And I get that people do that all the time. But it was just like you you put. it was, and the, It's just unfortunate because it's like okay she got to market her shit. Because I was going to say it's just the marketing for me. You talking about manifestation but all you did was steal these lists from fucking um pinterest and put a book together and then sold it and made a million dollars off of it and it was just like you know you gotta like I, I i don't know it's just it's just the way people do shit you gotta be careful how you do shit like it's just like you making it seem like you doing like when you make a book especially about manifestation you gotta be careful how you do certain things and the way you lay it out and you can do things and be your own person, especially with like a manifestation book or making lists. You can you can do things and be your own person. Like she could have did like baby girl or something. Like she could have switched up the words just and made it her own. Like it's just so many things. So I really felt like she plagiarized that book, and I think she knew she did as well, and that's why she took the book off the market. And the book just looked chintzy. It looked. It look, it, 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 it was just a hot ass fucking mess, bitch. She know damn well. She took grabbed some shit off the internet, put it in a book. Then she took a couple of kid pictures, wrote a couple of fucking notes and pictures, and, and and put a book together. That's what the fuck she did, respectfully. So she did plagiarize the book. I'm gonna say yeah, allegedly. But you know what? I know, okay. And this is the thing. Once you fuck up, especially with like plagiarism, fraud, stealing, you know how like somebody steal and you just you just think they they a thief. Like those are one of the things that it just don't change. It's just like the ideology of like jobs don't want to hire criminals, like because they like you went to jail for robbery, you're a robber. <laughs> like you went to jail for killing, you're a killer. You went to jail for rape, you're a rapist. Like even if you redeem yourself people still hold you to that. Like, they, I think that because she did it once, people feel like she's she's on the line for plagiarism all the time. Like, she is the runner-up for that shit. Like, no matter what she do, because she did it once, and I feel like she actually did it, she's on line for plagiarism. Like, does that make sense? Has she never, ever ever in her life been called out on plagiarism or stealing 
this topic wouldn't be, this, that shit wouldn't even been a topic of discussion. Like, that shit wouldn't even made the shade room. But because she did it once, she's a runner up for that type of shit. Unfortunately, like she's she like they feel people feel comfortable saying she stole some shit, and they feel like if I say it, people won't believe it. So that's on her. Like she fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's unfortunate. It's really really unfortunate that you know that she she got to deal with that. But you know that's why you got to be careful. But it's it's hard to be careful too because. How long you gonna hold somebody to some shit, right? Can people can, can people redeem themselves? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I I don't I don't know. It's weird. It's really weird. It's really really weird. Like, can people redeem themselves? I I don't know. Like, you know why it's hard to know? Because like, let's say for instance, the guy who did Fire Festival. I was watching his little doc. He got they made another documentary. Of about the Fire Festival on Hulu, but this time he was actually in it. So, watch the Fire Festival um, documentary on Hulu. And you know, after everything that happened with Fire Festival, you would think he would stop, right? But he continued to do dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? And for me, those are the type of things that show you like people just ain't shit some people they like they can't fucking help themselves like they can't help themselves like I felt like okay number one he's white so he could just go above and beyond number two all right you could get money you know how to get money from investors why don't you just make a real company and watch it grow like you get like he seems so smart but he continues to do fraudulent shit. So, when I see stuff like that, it's like, can people redeem themselves? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, they are, are they simply just can't help themselves. Like, I don't know. I'm not sure. You know, and it's crazy. It's crazy. Like, we all, like, we all need to do better because it's like, there's motherfuckers out here that really be trying to redeem themselves. There's people out here that really genuinely make mistakes. And that's not who they are. But it's people who just keep fucking up. Who keep... Who don't have any realm or reason to change. And they fucking up for the people who are trying to change. I don't know be someone personally. And that's the thing with celebrities because... Or, you know, Instagram is influencers, whatever you want to call them. is like... Because I feel like influencing is their job too. So I think for some, most of us, and just being notable is their job. They'll do anything to stay up the times. And one of those things you do, right, to survive, not just eating, you know, just to survive, you might, some people steal. And stealing, no, not going outside, side, robbing banks and, and stealing food and stealing things. Literally, people could steal content, you know, stealing content, stealing things from other create small creators, you know, it's stealing. So they're already like, and the other thing too is like, when you're a creator, sometimes you feel like you've done it all, you said it all, and I feel like a lot of them feel like, what can I do to renew myself? Like, what can I do next? Like. What, what what what's next for me? Like you get what I'm saying, and it really be like that sometimes. You know, I could imagine. You know, it's hard to keep up. I could only imagine. Like, what do I do next from here? You know what I'm saying? And so they start seeing shit. They start seeing shit, and because they big, they feel like I could do that and do it better. And they probably can do it better. You know, they got better camera quality. They have better. They have access. They have more money. They have um access to other influencers. They might see a skit. And be able to pull off that skit way better than a smaller influencer or whatever. Because they have, they could do the skit with A, B, C, and D. And it's going to be way bigger than that other person's skit. And we would never really know because a lot of the shit we do is so um, recyc recycled material. And so I do, yo, now, now more I'm talking about that shit. The more I'm talking about that shit, I'm really starting to think motherfuckers be stealing. Now I think we're supposed to stole that shit. <laughs> but 
because and even if you like pay attention to a lot of these influencers and these comedians and stuff they really be acting so stressed out like they be so stressed like they just they be acting like oh my god i don't know what to do next and when they start like feeling like they falling off they be like, what do I do next? How do I get my, my myself redeemed and shit like that? And some people don't have that judge, that juice to stay marketable, to stay relevant. Like, for instance, um, or some people don't know how to rebrand themselves. You know, I could bring up, you know, several people. Like, for instance, Drake right now. I don't know what it is about him specifically, but I do agree that he has been around for a long time. You know, like, not a long time. Like, I feel like for most artists, they by now, they would have eventually lost their... Je ne sais quoi. Like, remember when Lil Wayne was Lil Wayne? Like, you thought Lil nobody would ever be better than Lil Wayne. Or when um, Murder, Inc. was hot. You never thought nobody was beating Murder, Inc. Like, when G-Unit was hot. Like, you, like, at those times, you never thought people could fall up. But always somebody knew was going to come in and steal the show. You know what I'm saying? And also, like, with Beyonce. Like, I feel like, whatever, you may not like Beyonce for whatever reason, but... For some reason, these artists, Beyonce and um, Drake, when they put out music, it just hits. No matter what. Like, it's like they just haven't lost that general sequel. Like, they just haven't lost that likability. Like, they just don't lose it. Like, it's something about them. And they're not still... Well, some people could say that Beyonce is still... And, and Drake, too, right? Because Drake... He has a tendency to, like, um, one day he's a UK rapper, one day he's a reggae artist, you know, one day he's a, a street rapper, one day he might do drill, Brooklyn drill music, you know, one day he might do Nola Bounce, bitch, like, what, what, um, what, what was that song called? Even Kiki Do You Love Me was very New Orleans based. Um, he does a lot of different shit. Like he even change he will change up his rap style and aesthetic. One minute he got an accent, one minute he don't. Like, it's just a lot. And then Beyonce, you know, a lot of people see her influences uh, like with um the single ladies they saw where she grabbed her influence from performances. So this is gonna turn from cloud chasing to like ideal stealing i don't fucking know oh my god this is like interesting like i don't know how to perceive it all <sighs> i don't know i really don't know like how to take all of this in um i don't know <laughs> why y'all do this to me it's weird i think it's all about how you recycle material as well I mean, you know, some of it be dead on the same fucking thing, though. I don't know. It's all, is is um, popularity all stealing? <laughs> Recycling shit? Like, are people create? and a lot of people who, like, really, really creatives, they don't get enough credit. Like, you know, like, I feel like somebody who really, really creative is, like, a Miss Elliot. Like, the shit she do, she dare be making up in her head, like... You never seen the shit Missy Elliott did somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like very rare. Even you know who else? Very slept on Kanye West. He's somebody that his music, his sound, his aesthetic, who he is. He he's even started trends. Aren't things like it's so rare you could find a natural born creative and and not be a thief. And we need to really start giving credit to people like that you know what i'm saying it's it's really hard you know it's really really hard to um find that but i say all that to say though like i was saying is like i do feel like a lot of times creators and celebrities as well they get so worried about falling off that they run out of ideas and they might have a tendency to steal and then they say like oh it was my um I don't know, somebody on my marketing team who did that stealing shit, it wasn't me, whatever the case may be. And I do think too, another thing they be doing, they be like, yo, find the hottest shit out right now and I'm and, and bring it back to me and we gonna do it. I think they be saying that shit, like, find out what's hot right now. I need y'all to get what's hot right now, do an analysis, get back to me and we gonna make it. Cause I need to get my bread up. I need a new platform, I need a new this, I need a new that. I'm telling you, motherfuckers be doing that shit. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Like, in another incident. 
bitch. It was with Andrew Schultz. Y'all may not, may or may not know him. He was on, he's on Flagrant 2. He's on Brilliant Idiots. He's a comedian. He had a special with Netflix. Do your research. He made something. I can't remember, but I heard about him talking about it on the Brilliant Idiots. And then, um, Kevin Hart tried to do the same exact thing. It was something, and it was something that was, a term that's often said, and I'm getting tight that I can't remember it. It was like inside jokes or something like that. Like we all say that inside jokes, inside the joke. It was something like that, and then that, that's where motherfuckers the way it's, it's very thin lined, or whatever the case may be. So Andrew Schultz calls him out on it. Kevin Hart deaded the shit immediately. Now is that a guilty conscience or he just don't want no smoke? You know what I'm saying, like. And I, because I really do believe that, you know, and I feel like, all right, even if you told your peoples, because I feel like people are not dumb. Even if you told your peoples, go find some shit for me, or uh, let's come up with something new. You, as a, per even if you're in that field, let's say I'm a marketing, my position is marketing. My position is coming up with new ideas. I'm going to make sure that that idea is not in the streets. I'm going to do the Googles of the Googles and the research of the research of America. Until I bring it to Kevin Hart. Because I don't want him to be in some trouble. I feel like I could lose my motherfucking job. So I feel like... It's some weird shady shit going on. I feel like the person may have brought the idea to him. And said, alright, but I'm going to just let you know. I saw Andrew Schultz. He do something similar. And that motherfucker said, we're going to do it bigger and better. Let's, let's be fucking honest. So when, you know... Now that I talk about this topic, I think we all need to stay woke. If you're a content creator, if you're out here putting out content, you're out here doing your thing, keep your eye out, pay attention. Don't overlook but so much. It's a very thin line between stealing and it's the same con. It's a, a, a natural uh, concept of years. Like, I, I, I don't know, it's, it's, I don't, like I said, if you pushing out constant, constantly, and you out here trying, I think your shit might have got stolen. <laughs> if you think somebody did some shit similar to you, and you really out here working hard, bitch, your shit might have got stolen. If you ain't really out here working hard, you just have to put some shit on the internet, I don't think they saw you. It's about so much you can see out here, you know what I'm saying? Um... Keep your ears open, bitch. Keep your ears open. But yes, this was another episode of Brit Says. It's supposed to be about cloud chasing and then it turns into contest stealing, bitch. I don't fucking know. I don't know what the title of the episode is going to be, but you will find out. Well, I'm going to find out first because I'm the one who came up with the fucking idea. <laughs> but you will see by the time this come up. Yes, make sure you follow me on Instagram underscore Instagram. Make sure you're following, you're leaving a view, leaving a review, leaving five stars. If you're streaming, make sure you're subscribing. If you're watching, commenting, hitting the like button, hitting the post notification bells, bitch. Make sure you're doing it all. And yes, I will see you guys when next week